Hello everybody and welcome to The Guest, a first person exploration game apparently. Now this is a game that came out about four days ago on Steam and it took my interest for a couple of reasons I suppose. One, it's meant to be a very good puzzle game with some horror elements thrown in. And two, it's inspired by games like The Room, which I adored, and I think it was compared to 1408, the Stephen King short story. So yeah, I think this is right up my alley and it's definitely worth a go, so... Here we go, I suppose. I don't know if I'm going to make this a series or not. I guess it really depends on the game and whether I like it and whether you guys like it. So let me know in the comments or by liking the video. Here we go. Let's start a new game and see what the guest is all about. Someone at the door? Okay, here we go. Welcome to the guest, everybody. And I guess welcome to my hotel room. In Belmont, Massachusetts. I think that's what MA is. Sure. So, who's at the door? Who, who just, who's trying to wake me up this early? see. Okay, it's left click. Huh, where's the doorknob? Uh, yeah, good question. <laughs> I don't know. Someone definitely wants to come in. Right, so, uh, we're looking for a doorknob, I suppose, to start off with. Yeah. I, I don't really know anything about the story to this game. I'm really in the dark as far as that goes, but hopefully we'll make sense of it before the game's over. Right, let's, uh, use the lights, I suppose. Keep them, keep them both on, if possible. Right, now if this is anything like The Room, which I hope it is, because I absolutely adored that game, we're probably going to have to focus on the really intricate details if we want to get through a lot of these puzzles. So, I suppose we're giving this room a thorough examination. Right. So, yeah, first things first, I suppose. We're looking for a doorknob. Perhaps there's one in here. Okay, well, we do have something. It's a, it's a toolbox with a combination lock on it. Christ almighty. Okay. <laughs> a thousand combinations. And I have no idea where to start. I think I pretty much just jumped into the deep end here. Let's exit out of that and come back later, I suppose. Can we actually... Oh, there we go. Turn the light on. Nice. Okay, a couple of drawers below it. Let's see. Okay, nothing in that one. What about the one at the bottom? Nothing. Whoever's at the door must really want me to get out. What's the time? Four something? Well, there's some pills there. Yeah, 4.23 in the morning. Strange. Okay. All right, let's check the, the cupboard to the left of it. Let's see. Okay. A box here with a, a light bulb inside. Sure. Okay, so you examine things like this, it seems. Like a little bit like layers of fear. We have an option to keep it as well, which I suppose I'll do. And an inventory system. Great. There it is. Let's see then. Okay, four options. One is to exit out of the menu. I can use it. I can look at it again. And I can combine it. But I suppose at the moment I don't have anything to combine it with, so I can't. There's a diary? Huh. Where's the doorknob? Okay. Doesn't give me any more information on the story. Just, I guess, what I'm thinking about at the moment. Sure. Great. There's like a newspaper clipping or an article or something down here, though. The 15th ESPA Congress will be at Belgrade. The 15th European Sociological and Psychological Association, ESPA, Congress will take place next month in Belgrade, Serbia. French psychologist Irene Sadou will present her new book, Mankind Analysis, apparently. Uh, is that relevant? <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I just don't know how, quite yet. Sure. Nothing else down there? I've got to say, it's very, very dark, and the lights are already on. So... Oh, wow. Okay, so we can use this as well? Okay, not only can we use it, we can keep it. I suppose so. If there's an option to keep it, I suppose we can use it later on, so sure. 
Okay, what about the drawers below the box? Oh wow, it keeps going. What's this? Room 297, I guess that's this room. Power supply, I guess? If an anomaly with the power sockets occurs, which I'm sure it will, if you're telling me about it, a power supply inspection will be carried out immediately. Keep in mind the following scheme. Uh, which is kind of going over my head right now, to be honest. In, any, uh, in case of any type of incident, contact your superior as soon as possible. And work hard. Again, we have an option to keep it, so let's keep it. Sure. <laughs> and there's another drawer below it? Again, nothing in it. Never mind. Okay, well... We haven't found a doorknob yet. And we need to find a combination for a toolbox as well. Right, let's see. Where do we begin? Let's let's uh, let's try the bedside cabinet. Can we open this up? We can. What's this? It's a notepad toolbox, right! Seems like it's torn, it's missing a piece. Is that the combination? Five something eight or three, possibly? Not really sure. Um, well, yeah, let's keep it. Actually, with that sort of information, I could probably just... I could probably just do trial and error and figure this out. So let's see. I think the first one, it looked like a five to me. So, five, zero, uh, let's try eight to start with. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so maybe it wasn't eight, maybe it was three? Yes, it was! Oh, brilliant, I got it, I got it. Okay, so what's in the toolbox? Oh, brilliant, we have a, uh, a screwdriver, which I can keep. And some screws, I suppose we'll need those. No, just the screwdriver, fine. Okay, but we're still looking for a doorknob. I was hoping it might be in the toolbox. Okay, nothing else in the drawer? There is a phone here. I don't have a number to call. I guess I'm going to have to come back to that one as well. Okay. What about in the uh, the shelves underneath it? All right. Yeah, we're getting a really detailed look at this. This is cool. So, Science Odyssey. Okay. The E has been circled. And the F and the A. EFA. What does that mean? Fair enough. You can't actually twist it around, so we can't see the back cover or anything. Again, I'm going to keep it. I must have a pretty full inventory right now. And hang on, wait, 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 wait. Did I just see? Is that a doorknob? I think it might be. Keep it, keep it. Hang on. I think I've got it. Is that it? Uh, knob. Yes! Okay, so let's see. Um, use, I suppose. And then use it with the door. Right! I'm getting the hang of this. So, who's at the door? Oh, the doorknob is still loose. I need something to screw this to the door. Ah, I think I have just what you're looking for. Screwdriver. Here it is. Now I should be able to open it, apparently. Okay, wow. That's a, that's a very dark room. Tell you what, I, I don't even think we've tackled half of the stuff in this room yet. But So before we go anywhere else, let's just stick to this room, I think. Okay, so what have we got down here? There's an envelope here to... Uh... <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Evgeny Leonov? Donetskaya? Volgograd in Russia? Is that my name? Is it to me? I'm, I'm going to keep it, I suppose. I don't have to, but I suppose I will. There's a letter here, I think. To Leonov, right. Dr. Leonov. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted our invitation to the University of Boston's 9th Annual International Scientific Congress. It is an honor for us that you have agreed to come from so far away and to be the main speaker at the Congress. My colleagues and I are eager to hear your knowledge. We have enclosed your business class flight information and tickets. Your arrival at Boston Airport on the 23rd at 11.30am should allow you plenty of time to rest and prepare for your speech on the 25th. We hope that you have a comfortable trip. Well, thank you very much. Strangely, I can't take this with me. We're going to put this back on the table. But there you go. I suppose that's me. That I'm Dr. Leonov. And I came to, to speak at a congress. Nice. What's this? Oh, just a little folder. Okay, so what's this? Ah. We would like you to know that two men will be waiting at the Boston airport when you arrive. Show them this letter and they will take you to the hotel. Once there, you will be able to rest. 
The old Oakwood Hotel is situated in the suburbs of the city of Belmont. This hotel has been helping us organize events for a long time. I am sure that you'll be pleased with their service. No words can express, express our gratitude. Is that Vincent Vega? From Pulp Fiction? It might just be. Okay. Okay. Great. Can I have a bottle of wine? No? Never mind then. Okay. What about the bookcase? Can we read any of these books, I wonder? Nothing's really jumping out at me. What about this pile of pile of books down there in the box? Or any of these documents? No. Okay. Okay. What about the yeah, the bedside cabinet on the other side? Open the drawer? Oh, there is something here. It's a it's a Bible, I think. That's right, a holy Bible. Keep it? Sure. I don't know how half the items I'm picking up are gonna help me later on, but if we have an option, why not, right? <laughs> nice cobweb. What's this? Not lucky? American blend? Or cigarettes? I guess. Yeah, filter cigarettes. And again, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. So we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of items right now. I suppose that's why the icons are so small. You can pick up so much. Wow. Okay. I think this game is gonna, gonna test me. Let's see. Okay, so there wasn't anything down there this time. Okay. Can we interact with the window at all? Shut the curtains? No. What's this? My suitcase. Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what I brought with me from Russia, of course. Yes. Keep it? I I don't... I don't know if I need to keep that. I will, though. <laughs> I feel like a bit of a hoarder right now, you know? But what's this? It's so dark, I can barely see. Hang on. That looks a little bit supernatural, actually. Why is that symbol glowing? What is this, anyway? It looks like the, uh, the handle off of a toilet or something, but I'm sure it's not. I'm going to keep it, just out of interest. What does it say in the inventory? It's a valve. Strange. Strange-looking valve. Okay. Backing out of that, then. Let's just keep going. What's this? A boarding pass, right? Along with... A, a pencil? Keep it? I guess that could come in useful, so yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'll keep that as well. So there's my satchel, which I can't open. Okay, so what about in... What's in here? Let's see. A couple of bowls, I think. That's about it. In here, nothing. It's actually so dark, I can barely see. There might be something here, but I can't see it. Is there... No. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was a gap there or another cupboard. It really is that dark. Maybe if I turn that light on... No. Oh, there's one! There's one behind me! Oh, man. There is no light bulb. That's why I've got a light bulb, right? Finally, I can get rid of one of these items. Here it is. The lamp should work now. Right, now maybe we can actually see what's inside. Okay, there's actually nothing there. What's down here? Oh, hang on. Ah, I couldn't do this before. Five... Yeah, okay, that's the, that's the bottom part of the notepad, which I evidently didn't need. I'm... Do I need to keep it? I, I'm going to put that down, I think. And what's this? A can? Oh no, no, a, a battery. Ah, we were told about the sockets, so I'm assuming there's going to be some electrical issues at some point. So yeah, we're going to keep that, just in case. Alright, what's up next? Everything else down there, it looks like I can't use it, so... Um, I don't know. Oh, hang on, hang on, wait, there's something at the foot of the bed, just under this under this footstool. Is that a lighter? I ran out of gas with the last cigarette, but I'm sure I can fill it up again. That's definitely going to be useful somewhere down the line. We're going to keep that. Okay, let's see, is there any way I haven't actually explored? Any detail that I have failed to really inspect? I don't think so, but I'm not sure at the moment. Let's go into the other room. I suppose we can come back if we need to, so... Open it up, sure. Um, I don't have a flashlight or a lantern or anything. I'm hoping there's a light switch somewhere in here. Ah! Whoa. What's going on?
Uh, what? I can't stand this. I need my pills. Oh, I think I, I saw some. I think I saw some pills over. Whoa! I think it was on the bedside cabinet. I can't open it. I'm stuck in here. Oh shit! Oh man. Okay. I just realized that's floating. This is pretty cool. What? What? What is all this? This is like a hypographia or something, right? First aid box? Have I got some pills in there? Uh, maybe. Yeah, consume. Uh, by all means. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, so what else have we got in the first aid box? Band-aids, which I can keep, so I will. Uh, more band-aids, which I'm going to keep as well. And what's this? Alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Uh, sure. Maybe we're going to have to use this with something else later on. I don't have a clue what that is. I guess let's just turn it off for the time being. Right, can we use the sink? No. Uh, can't use either sink. What about the, the toilet? No? Uh, can, we, can we leave now? We can't. I'm stuck in here, so I can't inspect that pill bottle either that I saw in the bedside cabinet. Shit, okay. Right, now this thing's kind of standing out to me. It looks like a keyhole. I'm going to need a key or something like that. Right, I don't actually have a key, do I? Amongst all the items I have, I don't have a key. Okay, alright. Let's see. What's down here? Uh, oh, actually, there's something down here. Yep, a pair of pliers, I think. Keep it, yeah, sure. That seems pretty useful. Uh, okay, so... That one's locked. What about this one? Oh, hell, what is this? <laughs> right! Now I really am out of my depth. What do these symbols mean? What? Oh, okay. All right. What are we doing here? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, is anyone understanding this? Have we got to make them all red? Make all the buttons sort of sink in? Like that? No? Erase? We can switch and erase, it seems. That's odd. Yeah, I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing here. So, reset and exit. I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to know what's going on quite yet. I hope not anyway, otherwise I'm really out of my depth. Right, in the drawers. Ah, there is... Uh, was that a razor? Looks like it. Okay, I'm going to take that. In the second drawer. Oh, it's broken. Uh, can we fix that, maybe? Anyway, the third one has another newspaper article. Surprise at the ESPA Congress. Psychologist and sociologist Irene Sadu was unexpectedly absent for the presentation of her new book, Mankind Analysis. As many distinguished figures from the field were in attendance, this came as quite a surprise to all. The whole Congress remained, eagerly awaiting any news about their illustrious French colleague. Unfortunately, details have yet to emerge about what may have caused <coughs> Miss Sidhu's absence. Something sinister, I assume. Something to do with me, perhaps. Okay. A couple more coat hangers. Do we need... <clears throat> Maybe we need more than one? Okay, I guess we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna take... We're gonna take three coat hangers in total, I suppose. What's that? Uh, just some trays for soap and stuff, I suppose. Okay. So. How do I get out of this? There is a vent up there. Can I use the vent? No, I don't think so. Hmm. What's all that about? Is that meant to mean something? Okay. Let's see. So. We can't go out. We can't get this open. We can't get this open. It... Yeah, it does say I need a key or something like that. Can we... Do we have anything that could be a key? Maybe if we stick the pencil? If we... Yeah, use the pencil. 
I can't use it. Okay. No, that doesn't make any sense. If we had... Uh... <laughs> Hang on. Is, if I look at the Bible, is there something in it? Like a little hammer or something? It doesn't look like it. I don't think I can open it in any way. Well, it, it, it says use, actually. Oh, no. I'm using the Bible as a, as a key. That's not going to work, is it? Right. Well, I've been playing for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm already stuck. So maybe I'm going to end the video sooner than I initially planned. Ah, uh, there's got to be something, right? It can't be in that other room. It's not like I missed something. They wouldn't trap me in here if I missed something out there and screw me over. Another coat. Is this something to do with the coat hangers? Can I do something with the coat hangers? Let's give that a go. So, we've got like three of them. We can combine. Let If we use the end of it? Yeah, maybe actually, because it's made of wire. So, I, I can't use it. Maybe if we combine it with something else. Combine it with... Um, if we can just bend it or... What about, the, what about the pliers? Yes! Yes, we've made ourselves a little lockpick. That has surely got to work. Use, yes. Okay, that's it. Oh, perfect. This is good. This is great. Okay, so what have we got under here? Alright, let's turn the light on. It's a little safe. Ooh, this is so, so cool. So, uh, what does that say? Do not turn it on. It's safer here. Why do you have to say that? Now, I'm going to turn it on now. Is that another battery? It is, yeah. 20 volts. I'll keep it. Just a couple of pipes, right. So, can we use this? Do we want to use it? Silly question. Of course we want to use it. What was that noise? I heard something in the bedroom. Can I... Oh. Alright. For some reason... We're allowed out now. Hang on, what happened to the bookcase? Everything else seems to be normal, but the bookcase. Oh, hell. Wow, right. Is there a light switch around here somewhere? Hang on. It's not working. Seems like there's no power. Christ almighty. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah. Just out of interest. Can I take those pills? I couldn't take the other ones with me. Can I consume more pills? Uh, I don't need it now, apparently, so we can just exit out of that. Sure. Turn that light on, yeah. Okay, I'm really quite enjoying this. I hope you are too. This is where I'm going to end the first part. If you want to see me play a part two, let me know in the comments or by liking the video, okay? See you next time, hopefully. No? No. 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 <laughs> oh dear. Is that Vincent Vega? From Pulp Fiction? It might just be. Okay. Keep it? I- I don't- I don't know if I need to keep that. I will though? <laughs> I feel like a bit of a hoarder right now, you know? I'm hoping there's a light switch somewhere in here. Ah. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, I think I I saw some. I think I saw some pills over. Whoa! Oh hell! What is this? <laughs> right. All right. For some reason, we're allowed out now. Hang on. What happened to the bookcase?